everyone, I'm Laura Ricciadoni, and this is my test kitchen. Welcome. It's summer, officially. It's been summer for a couple of weeks now, and summer squash is at the market. So we are going to make some squash fritters, summer squash fritters. They're really tasty. They're simple to make. Um, it's just, you know, it's kind of, you get all this summer squash at the market. It's like, okay, what am I going to make with it now? Make some fritters. So we'll go over the ingredients and then I'll show you how to make them. We have summer squash, of course. We have yellow and green summer squash that we're going to grate on a box grater. I have a, an organic vendor, so I leave the skin on and it just kind of yields a little bit of color, so I like that. Really important to put them in a little tea towel or some paper towels once they're grated because they do hold a lot of moisture and that's what will give you the soggy fritters. So, Set them in a little towel for a little bit. You can put some salt on it, which will also pull out the moisture and it will start to flavor the squash. One of the things that separates kind of professional cooking from home cooking is that you season it, everything that you're making, all the elements to a recipe you're seasoning as you go along. So we have our squash, we set that aside. Once the moisture is all out, we'll put it in a bowl. A little bit more sprinkle, a little sprinkle of salt, some black pepper. I'm using dill and cilantro today. Um, I'm going to put the dill actually in the fritters of cilantro. I'm going to make a little vinaigrette that will just drizzle over it after. It'd be really nice. You don't have to do that. You can just eat them as they are. Put maybe a little chopped arugula, some baby lettuces on top or underneath, and, and they're delicious. So we have garbanzo flour. We're using garbanzo flour. It's grain free. You could use another flour if you like. Almond flour works well too. Uh, I like the garbanzo flour because it's low in carbs. It has some fiber in it, so it's, it's healthy. You want to, I'm just going to start maybe with a tablespoon. Again, you, you want everything to hold together, uh, but you don't want to put too much flour in them as well. So we have our grated squash, a little salt, a little pepper some chopped dill or some other herb if you so choose, your garbanzo flour, and just mix all that up. We will keep a little egg on the side that I'll just lightly beat, just to see if we need that to hold everything together. We might not. It's a feel thing with fritters. You'll know when you put it in your hand and you know, start to make a little patty with it, if it holds together, if it needs a little bit less liquid, a little bit more flour. So, you will have to just kind of determine it as you go along. And that's part of the fun of cooking. You get to experiment and, and then have some information. And the next time you do it will be a little different. And each recipe that you make that's the same will just get better and better and better. So I encourage you to make these more than once. All right, so we went over. Oh, we're going to put a little spring onion in there, chopped really, really fine. You can use a shallot as well, um, but I'm using a little spring onion because I, they were at the market as well. So you want to use your ingredients that you have on hand. That's the beauty of seasonal cooking. This is a taste for all seasons after all, and I do cook with the seasons. That's my philosophy, and it always um, yields something really delicious because you're getting ingredients that are ripe, they're, they're harvested at the moment, the day, you know, they're not traveling a couple of weeks on a truck, and, and that's really important, and it makes food taste exponentially better. So I really uh, encourage you to cook with the seasons, and I think that you will see the difference. So just play around with that, and let me know how that works out for you. I always appreciate comments. Right, it's time to give this a try. I wish you could be in the kitchen to smell the aromas in here. It's still lingering. That's really good. Summer squash really comes through. The cilantro vinaigrette, beautiful. The dill's coming through. All the elements are there. Perfect amount of acidity. This is a good one. 
Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you go home and give this recipe a try. It was really delicious. I enjoyed it very, very much and I enjoyed teaching it as well. That's one of the things that I'm really passionate about. Um, for the full recipe, you can visit my website, lauriorichardoni.com. There will also be a full list of all the health benefits. I have an Instagram page. You can visit me there. I post a lot of recipes that I'm not necessarily doing in a class, but you get to see a lot of visuals and there's well, many recipes on my website as well, which are all gluten-free, a lot of them grain-free, some vegan raw dishes as well. So there's a nice variety of just really, really healthy food. Uh, so I think that's about it for today. And until next time, bon appetit, and happy summer.